Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and welcome to our review of the Triton Warhead 7.1. The Triton Warhead 7.1 is Triton's premier um, Xbox 360 headset. This is a top of the line headset for the Xbox 360 and um, you can uh, pre-order it, actually you can get it right now. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Warhead, see how well it works, all the functionality and see if it's definitely worth picking up. So let's get into the review. Alright, so since we got the Triton uh, Warhead 7.1. A lot of people have asked us, how do I connect it to my Xbox? What do I need to do? All that fun stuff. So I'm gonna quickly show you how you can connect it to your Xbox, very simple. So first thing, of course, you know, you have your Triton base station here. And of course, this is your Warhead. So I'm gonna take the Warhead away, set that aside for a second. Looking at the base station, let's flip this around here to the back. What we have here is a little DC port, a lining, an optical, and a sync button. You can use the optical cable for your either your old or your newer Xbox. Now you have your optical cable line. If you have a new Xbox, you have the new Xbox 360, you just plug this to the optical part of the Xbox and that is pretty much it. There's one more thing you have to do is once you start playing, you will need to actually hit this button here on the left ear cup in the front. This is to toggle between analog and digital because basically optical is digital, so you have to toggle. Press and hold for about two seconds, and that should do the trick for you. Now, if you have the old Xbox, Triton has supplied you with this adapter port. So basically, you plug this to the back of your Xbox. You take this in here, plug it in into this port, and boom, there you go. Now, if you're using component cables in that old Xbox, sorry, just won't work for you. This uh, is something that, this is basically the only adapter port you can use, or you can actually use the lining cable there. Um, there's a lining port there for you. That's the other option to use, but that is pretty much it there on the controller, and that is um, um, how to actually set it up. Now, a couple of things on your Triton to note. Uh, we'll show you that with the headset in a second. Take a look, close look at the Triton Warhead 7.1. What you've got here, of course, is your mic, which is detachable, so if you don't want to use the mic, you can take it off, but to use it, you gotta push it in to hear it snap. This is your mic mute button. If you hold that down for what, a second or two, and that lights up red, telling you it's muted. This is your analog digital toggle right here on the front of the left ear cup. On the back of the left ear cup, you have your volume up and down for the mic. You can see indicated over there. On the right, you have your general volume for the headset. You do have here, of course, open this up, your battery bay, rechargeable batteries, you can charge in the base station right there as we saw in the unboxing and then of course you have your EQ buttons which you can cycle with the EQs right there now within the ear cups of course you have your power button on the right ear cup and you have your controller sync this is controlled sync it to your specific controller you're using and um, yeah and of course you do have these soft ear cushions much larger fit quite well 7.1 surround sound um, very solid build and they are very comfortable uh, in the ears. These are actually soft on the top. And um, while you're gaming, you can do a few things. And you, can, you can see how it is to actually function in game using uh, the Warhead. So what do I think of the Triton uh, Warhead 7.1? I think these are solid uh, headsets. Um, they have a lot of functionality. You do have, I do love the fact that it connects with uh, Adobe Digital. To, especially the new Xbox and there's an adapter for the old Xbox you can toggle between analog and digital you do have the EQ presets well they are okay I didn't notice much difference except when I turned them off but between the the, the presets for music gaming and uh, movies I wasn't much there but it still added a lot of uh, benefit when it was on rather than it being off uh, the volume controls are easy to navigate of course you've got your full volume control on the left behind and the mic on the right um, you've also uh, got to your sync, so you can actually sync to your controller, which is actually pretty cool and, and does a good job there. So overall, I do like them. I think they're solid. I think they work out well. The build, very good. I truly appreciate them. And I think uh, they step up. The air cups are much bigger than the Premier. Uh, so those who are thinking about that, um, that's something to take note. I'm currently dying right now as I'm playing online and doing this video. But I figured, you know, this is a good way to show you guys how uh, the uh, Triton Warhead 7.1s uh, sound and work. I do like them. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.
YouTube, it's all Border World with 2-0. So this is Thunder Easy saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment. Now, I need to get back to action.